Ferris State football hosts the Grand Valley State Lakers this Saturday at 7 o'clock at Top Taggart Field and the Bulldogs coming off another victory this season 2-0 on the year so far and we look to the head coach Tony Anise now of the Ferris State football program coach 2-0 this year dating back to last year you're on a six game win streak how's it feel right now? Well obviously we're feeling pretty good about what we've achieved uh, so far this season um, we've been on the road twice and so uh, when you when you go on the road twice and you get victories uh, you're always pleased and looking forward to Saturday. In that game last week you were quoted saying that defense played exceptionally well your thoughts on where the defense is at overall for the season right now? Yeah you know uh, they they kind of changed our style a little bit uh, with coach Reitman taking over at Northwood and and so I thought we did a really nice job um, containing um, containing their option game and then you know obviously Grand Valley is a little bit different um, they haven't uh, they haven't ran the ball as effectively as they they have in the past so I know that's going to be a big, big emphasis um, another issue is we don't know whether we're going to see Heath Parling or Isaiah Grimes uh, we saw Parling last year Grimes two years ago but um, Parling went down at the end of the game with uh, um, what, what looked like a concussion to me, so we'll see who we get quarterback-wise, but we got to be prepared for both. Both are uh, six-year seniors and very good players. Two turnovers in the last two games, that's got to be something you're happy with as well. Yeah, one turnover in two games, so yeah, so we're pleased by that. We're taking care of the ball well, um, and uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, you know, simple reasons why you're successful and simple reasons why you fail, and we're right now taking care of the simple things that help us be successful. How about that duo of Jason Vanderlaan and Jake Landman? Game one, they threw for three uh, connections in that first half. However, last week it was only one connection uh, for a touchdown. Thoughts on them? I mean, what do they have to do to get back on track this week? Well, we've really put a big emphasis into the play action pass. Um, you know, we've always put stress on the perimeter of the defense. Uh, um, with Jason being a guy that can really go um, downhill as a run, uh, run threat at quarterback and the likes of uh, Jamal Jackson, who's a bull inside and things like that. And some of our speed guys outside, you know, we, we really like to stretch a, a team um, both vertically and horizontally. And then uh, the play action pass allows us to really kind of air it out and, and challenge people um, if they're cheating our run game. So um, we've worked hard to be that kind of team that, that can take uh, what the defense gives us. So hopefully we can continue to do that. One of the latest home openers uh, here at Ferris State uh, the, for this program. How excited are you to get back here and play on home turf in front of the home crowd? You know, I think we'll be really excited to be home. Um, I hope we got a big crowd. Uh, it's going to be a great environment. Um, our kids look forward to, to, to you know, playing playing here uh, in front of this home crowd. Um, and, and more than that, you know, it's uh, you know for for. Some guys that, you know, are a recruiting class of 32 guys, there's only been four or five of them that have been with us. The rest haven't really seen us play yet. So I know that's a weird thing to say, but uh, some of our guys, you know, they, they've been with us now for over a month and they haven't seen a, a Ferris game live. Um, so that'll be excited to have our whole crew on the sidelines. Last question for you, let's look ahead of the Anchor Bone Classic. Now, what do you know about Grand Valley and this upcoming weekend and maybe how you guys define this pro their program? Well, they've got three great running backs and I know they're going to be uh, chomping at the bit to get them going. Like I said, you know, I, Parling might have a concussion, so we might see Heath Parling, who's a great quarterback, or Isaiah Grimes, who's got a lot of experience as well. Um, Receiver-wise, you know, Jamie Potts is one of the best in the league. Um, they've got, you know, an arsenal, really, a lot of good players out there. Um, their old line has been, you know, the, the, the thing I think they're trying to focus on fixing to run game this week. And, and uh, so, you know, I know their offensive line coach is a great coach, so they'll probably fix their run game. And defensively, their D-line is, you know, really, really athletic. and and tough. Um, that's really where they've got a lot of experience. They're a lot like us on defense, you know. Their, their D-line is, is experienced and returning, uh, whereas the secondary, the back-end guys are uh, really good athletes, but young. Um, and so, um, you know, we both kind of are facing um, duplicates there in regards to what the personnel looks like on defense. Good luck on 3-0, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ferris State looks to make it three straight over the Grand Valley State Lakers. The game could be heard live across West Michigan on 97.3 FM and seen live right here on FerrisStateBulldogs.com.